overall, in the last while, you guys have added like Dernay, Kane's back, mm -hmm. Ekholm, Bukestad. There's a lot more heft to this team. Is that yep. what kind of an impact does that have? Well, I think if you're big and you can skate, you you know you have a, an advantage on uh, on other guys, right? So just size is good. Um, take away ice, but uh, yeah, I think we've got a good group. I know this is a little bit of a different question, but I have a colleague that wanted me to ask you this. What does a Selkie Trophy player look like to you in the, in the day and age today? <laughs> uh, well, classic kind of 200-foot player, obviously. I think, I don't know the last time a winger's won it, per se, so. Oh, you're Latin. Latin. There you go. What was that in the 90s? 90s. Yeah, there you go. So, probably a centerman. <laughs> 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 you know, so let's go 200-foot centerman that uh, wins face-offs, um, strong defensively, you know, is able to cover for his, his defense, scores more when he's on the ice than, you know, more goals are going in on the other end than in your end, um, just does the little things right. Do you think that player needs to be a bit of, like, have an offensive punch to his game too? It seems like it's kind of been going that way the last few years. Well, yeah, yeah. for sure. I mean, I don't think many Selkie winners have been outscored on, right? So. Um, you need to have an offensive punch. You can't just, you know, try to limit the other team and get nothing the other way. Zach, uh, sorry for jumping in a little late, and apologies if you've been asked about this. Uh, on the latest road trip, uh, you've had to come back from early deficits and sometimes even erasing three separate one-goal leads. Can you talk about your team's stick to and the willingness to stick to the game plan that's allowed you guys to see success? Yeah, I just think you know we've, we're confident in our ability to score and, and to come back in games. I think the, the key thing for us is is limiting goals and chances against. And I think you know when we're down in a game, we want to get it back into it pretty quickly. And I thought the last couple of games we've been able to do that. As a teammate of Stuart Skinner's, how have you seen his progression so far throughout the year? It's been awesome. Obviously, coming in as a young guy and, and then becoming an all-star, really. So. Um, that's the progression, right? And like, I don't know how many people had Stu as an all-star on their ballot when the season started, but I think that's credit to him and just working at his craft and, and just getting better every day. And, and he deserves it. He's been playing amazing, and we're lucky to have him.